one of the main things that people ask me, uh, both contractors and homeowners, is how to properly size a radiator for a room. So if you want to replace your radiator and right now you have, for example, a rad this style where the, the sections are very chunky and it's a bigger rad and you count out either the length in inches or the height or the section length, none of that really matters. When you are trying to figure out the BTUs of the rad, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out the total surface square footage of a radiator. And that will vary style to style. So when we take in these old radiators, we have to go back to the original manufacturer specifications for the rad as it was intended and calculate each radiator, um, their BTUs per section. So for example, this radiator, which is a lot chunkier, will have a completely different BTU calculation to a style that's like this, where the sections are thinner, or even with something like this. This is a Gurney Duet, and it has also very thin sections. So some people will say they're all similar styles, but the BTU calculations are very different. If you want to find the correct size radiator for a room, what you need to do, and we do this here for you, is take the square footage, the cubic footage of a room, including the ceiling height, the windows, the insulation, um, exterior walls, and all those environmental factors, and we figure out how many BTUs that room requires. Then what we try to do is match it to a rad that we have here. So because we have three, 400 radiators in stock, we can find the correct rad to match what that room needs so that it's comfortable. If you look at this style of radiator, which let's say is probably 1920s, and we compare that to a classic column, which we have two here, this was probably sort of the last of the cast iron rads around 1940. What they did differently in the design is they managed to cram more square footage per section in this than in this older bulkier style. So if you were going to replace a rad that's this style with a more modern looking classic column, you would actually need a smaller radiator than what you have. It isn't about height and length and depth. It's about what each radiator is capable of outputting. 